Good evening, and welcome back to Factory Town. I've been trying to figure out this in my head, trying to get the delivery thing working, and I think I think this will work. Uh, but I have a concern about the trains. So, what we'll do, what we'll do, is we will have a um, train station here that drops off the food types we want. So we're going to go with one of the three, six different food types. Um, we want to go with cooked beef. Um, cooked chicken and cooked fish. Uh, there might be more that has to go to this. I can't remember. Uh, there probably will be more that has to go to this because that's... Um, That's basic food. So that's all those food types there. I know. So maybe, maybe just the three. Maybe just three to get basic food. There might be another one like later on. We have to do. I don't think. I think gourmet is all in um in here. Hmm. Gem ah, so yeah. So so this one, the general store, is general goods and clothing. So it does it does more than that. So that's okay. So we want three. We only want three. Okay. Which means I don't actually want the other. One seven nine. I just just want to store the two hundred here. Okay, so we'll turn these off. Oop, 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 oop. They go, they're all inactive. So we just got three storages there. Um, do you know what I'm actually going to do? Um, I'm going to double these up. So we'll go beef, beef, chicken, chicken. Uh, no, that's raw fish, fish and fish like that. Um, and then we will. Enable every other one like that. So we've got an option to expand it if, if, if we find out it's not getting um, like deliveries often enough, so it needs to store more or something. So, so we'll, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. So, how much would you need? So, you have um, 26 houses attached to you. Okay. And the 26 houses want um, cooked beef every. Um, 60 plus 90 is 150 seconds. They want cooked beef every 150 seconds. Okay. So, uh, times 20... No, 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 no. Every, every 150 seconds. Okay. So, uh, we divide that by 26. Hold on. And we need to deliver... No. We need to deliver 26 every 150 seconds. Okay. 26 divided by 150 that way around times 60 we need to deliver 10 a minute which is e easy easy peasy easy peasy that's dead easy okay so we'll do that here so we need to put a train let's go grab this guy Oop. we'll put you up there we will add three box carts to you one two three because that's all you need for this one here other ones might get more box carts um uh, but we'll we'll see how it goes. So um, you are going to have the signal tag of whatever this town is. What town are we at? We're at four, right? Yeah, four. You're going to have four. And now this is where things are going to become complicated. More so than what we already have. Uh, this one's going to be uh, cooked beef. Uh, this one's going to be cooked chicken. And uh, this one is going to be cooked Fish. Okay. Now, all of these are going to have to go to here and come back again. That breaks our system of um, we need to come down here to pick up the cooked beef and the cooked chicken and the cooked fish because it'll all be here and then come back and then deliver to ourselves. This is the bit that was that has stumped me, has completely stumped me. I'm not sure how to do this. I'm really not sure how to do this. So, so the delivery is easy, okay, so dumb. But we need you to go onto the fourth rail and then come back onto the fourth rail. Unless we have a return of 10, for instance, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we put a ninth one in, which we can't really 
do. I oh, know this is not the actual town area. This is. No wait, that looks. Uh oh. Uh oh. What have I done? What have I done? Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold on. Yeah, this is actually in location. So this is where we don't have space for another track. We don't actually have space for another track. And I don't have space for delivering. So I need to move these towns out even further um, from there, which is easy doable. It's easy doable because these towns are not, we've not done anything with these towns, so we have to move them out a bit further. Um, So I have to do maybe another track for this. Um, and then we'll have to filter. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure how to do delivery. I'm really not sure how to... Um, how, how to get this this done here I've, I've been i've been pondering this for a while and I'm, i've kind of I, I i i it's it's either make the episode now or make the episode late so i was hoping that it would come to me sort of as i'm doing it because um look, looking at things is fine but then actually building them sometimes as things to it so so this would come out here and we'll join i mean it needs to join track four because track four is where its food is coming from okay um other trains are fine. Other trains are not, have no problem at all. Unless we deliver it internally. Unless we deliver it internally. Um, we could do that. We could... We could have... Wagons? Um, maybe... Uh, like... Um, I'm pressing more buttons. Um, so, like, you've got roads everywhere all the all the connection all the connections are all done all this was done here um we've got roads going everywhere it would be a little bit complicated for them to get around and do things but we could have wagons deliver to to these train stations um also i don't know why i left the train stations one away from the edge they should have been on the edge i don't know why i did that but um so we could get a wagon that just literally comes along um to, oh ah see the, ah ah yeah, but i'm forgetting something as well these are going to be packaged goods we need to unpackage them before we can deliver them to the market yeah yeah we need to unpackage them so maybe these ones would have to be shorter to put packages in here Hadn't thought about that. Hadn't thought about that. Um, let's move you out to uh, there for a moment. Um, yeah, because we need to put packages in here. So these these may well have to be shorter. Oops. Um, don't quite think it needs to be this compact but um oh they're now ah damn it nope move over <laughs> um so yeah so we need we need packages sat here unpackaging the goods now there is another drawback to this as well um uh, and that drawback is say we come to here um and we're delivering more than three goods to this place so um the hardware we're going to deliver so that's got four so we're going to deliver pxs and planks just for instance just so there's there's two but then clothing we need to deliver uh, three two so that means we're gonna have to deliver like cloaks and shoes that's four items you can deal with four items so that's okay for that one because the uh, general store covers uh, hardware and clothing 
basic medicine um should be just the apothecary but then the apothecary might do other things as well it can do ethers um, if we want to sell ethers to them as well so if we have more than four items that have to go to any one of these guys which i think this one will do um so magic knowledge has got one two three four five and the normal ones have got one two um and three so that's eight so we can't do that we, we need two packages that's easy to do because we're on the end so that's not so bad um um also this the um speciality uh can do it as well so we could spread it out a little bit more gourmet we might be okay we might be okay so um let's let me have a let me have a look see here so um luxury goods are sold in uh i don't know where they're sold in the enchanter but no producing the enchanter uh speciality goods yeah they're all sold in speciality goods by the looks of it speciality goods yeah so that's in there so if we need six of them there's two there uh magic supplies um that's also speciality goods is it not yep so we need eight here so that's going to be three six seven eight for instance if we went with those um we could just supply the books we do want to supply all the books so that'd be fine so it, this might come become a problem but we do have space in between to figure this out so so that's not a major thing but i am glad i remembered that um we need to actually have some form of space between them now i don't know if i need two or three here so um let's see here so you come to there down to there up to there down to there so i'm going to move them back by one like that just so they fit to the um the conforming copy and we paste and paste 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 and paste and there we go okay okay so you're delivering to there and then you're delivering to there now what i mean by um internal delivery here so uh, we can run roads up to here without a major issue at all this doesn't cause any problems whatsoever um, i could run a road up and just run it along so i'm, I'm gonna run roads up both sides just to Um, and what we can do is we could have wagons if a town produces the goods it needs rather than having a train pick it up and deliver it to it because that's just going to be really awkward for getting the system work it works at every other station because we could just do the same thing we could just do the whole um uh you come back here we would have to filter this unfortunately um um although we could just filter out the no we'd have we we'd have the goods that we're selling we'd have to make sure that this skips um this pusher over here uh because otherwise the train's going to come down here to deliver goods to us here and we don't we don't want that we don't want that so um so yeah so if we have this here um you are signal to four so that's fine so that means that um you this is track four this is track four here um boom, boom, boom. you are that way and you are that way yeah yep okay um and then we'll copy this and we'll paste it here and here um and we'll change the item crate to be uh cooked beef only now packed then i hold shift and right click and only now pack and right click and only now pack so if you right click on them but you have to hold shift in order to get multiple ones in there so that's what we want this train delivering if it has a box full of cooked beef it should deliver them it should never have a box full of cooked beef this should never be used but i'm putting it in here for redundancy sake so i know what i'm doing as i'm doing it so yeah um and you are train number four um but you don't want to be train number four you don't want to exist because um we don't need you we don't actually physically need you and then what we'll do is we'll deliver stuff internally so we can go um with uh some wagons let's grab some wagons um, do you want wagons or caravans mm, caravans they, they do cost one population each but instead of locomotive so 
And I'm not sure if caravans can get underneath there. I think they can. Let's test this. Would you drive to there? Uh, oh, um, and pause. Would you drive to here, please? You can. We have done this so that they can actually get underneath things. So, so if I was to come here, um, no, not there. Uh, we haven't actually gone to cook beef yet. Um, we're making it. But we haven't delivered it. So it could be it's going to be down here in its own train station, its independent own train station. And then we'd have this caravan go to the Cook Beef train station. So let's do that. Let's do that. Boom. Uh, you go there. You go there. You go there. You go there. A bit of Hugo here and Hugo there. Biffa would be proud. Um, so yeah, so you're going to come out of here. Boop. I have absolutely no idea where I want this to be. Mm. If we, um, I, I mean, I want the line going down there, but we've got one, two, three, four here, which we need to deliver down there. Um, we're also making bread, and we don't actually need bread. I've, I've, I've made bread, and um, it, it's dawned to me that we don't need bread. We don't want to deliver bread. Bread is only one, so it's not needed. However, I've made that because, and I've just, just, it's just dawned on me that why I made bread, and um, we don't need it, because bread is required to make sandwich, and sandwich is pretty good. So we can deliver a sandwich um, there. Although I think we'll actually do apple pie and berry cake for this. So we probably won't use bread at all. So this is probably redundant and never going to get used. Um, I'm not planning to make every item in the game. I'm just planning to make what we need to progress and survive. And bread is not something I think we need to progress and survive. So um, yeah, gourmets requires six happiness. So we want to do three and three. So yeah, three and three. Apple pie and bread cake. So bread, bread's not needed. So we could probably shut down the bread delivery service. Yeah, which means we don't need that top one. So I might start delivering bread to just sell it. And um, we'll just sell it to this house here, this, this area here. That's what we'll do. We'll just sell it to this area here. That'll be fine. So let's do that. Let's you uh, pick up bread. Deliver bread to that one. Okay. Um, and then you will have one, two, and three. And this won't just be packaged items. This will be filtered. So it should be cooked beef. Um, it should be cooked chicken. And it should be fish which is absolutely fine and wonderful and no problem there but I'm gonna change the fish for bread okay we'll change the fish for bread okay, and then you are gonna go here you're gonna pick up bread you want to deliver the bread but you know it's not very quick the caravans are quick you can make them faster by putting in different roads like stone roads and things we may well do that um, there's no way to upgrade a road, so I would have to redraw all the roads out, which is tiresome, but, um, yeah, and I don't think you can even, um, uh, if I was to do that, and then I copied it, no, you can't even place it on top with another one, so you have to draw over the top of it with that, so yeah, but, um, yeah, so you'll, you'll leave the bread. The bread will be outputted, the bread will go into here, the bread will be sold to everybody in here, and we'll just sell it, we'll just get rid of it, and then we'll shut down this whole bread maker thing. So we don't need that. Okay, okay, right. There you go, bread dealt with. Um, so we want three coming out of here. So if I do three in a row here, we've then got space for three more things down there. I don't know what they're going to be down there, but we'll figure that out. Uh, we also don't want coal going down there anymore, do we? No. So let's um, cut you out and uh, do that you then want to be changed to be one and one and you want to be changed to be two and one so two go forward one goes this way one goes forward one goes this way 
that way. So one, 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 one. We get one okay. Okay. So if we were to output chicken here, um, no, no, because we've got three more down here, haven't we? Um, and I want these coming this way as well. So um, yeah, and that'll be the feed for both of those. So you'll go that side, you'll come this side and this side. I really should probably have these come <laughs> out this way um, to deliver stuff this way and then have their deliveries come down here but then the deliveries I don't know what I don't know what they're gonna be this is the problem I don't know what they're gonna be so um it's gonna be it's gonna be complicated so how about we just take these three and put them in the middle and worry about it later let's do that so you can answer there um we've got to do this all the way down the track and then do again we want to squeeze them in as close as we possibly get them and then again like so awesome you will come out of here and we'll come along um and we'll stop there and then we'll go up to there and then we'll come along inside here to there we've discovered you can put two on top of each other like that that does in fact legally work which is fantastic happy about that so you go to there you go to there you go to there okay, and then the three of these need to spread out amongst um well <laughs> these three or these three or something i mean i just i just put animal feed to the first one here uh, not really thinking about anything else that was going to happen in here um so yeah that's the very well it's the second one i don't know what I, I, things will get moved things will very much get moved around <laughs> i can see that happening a lot how about we just deliver you into the back of this one um we deliver you uh oh um into that one and then this one's that one although we have got more to come here so we'll deliver we go out Oh god we might have to have multiple stations doing things because there's you can't get enough stations for every plot but then we don't need every plot filled that's the thing i should have started in the center and worked my way out that would have made a lot more sense a lot more sense um yeah yep but i didn't i didn't i didn't we might do a different style town uh a different style layout on a different town to test it so go to there uh, so let's do yeah because i don't know what we might have we might have a train with multiple different things in it so so this is going to be taken and delivered elsewhere so i mean we know these are the three that are going to be sold so why don't we just, not just put all three of them into the same station Let's, let's, let's just do that. Let's just do that. Um, oh, uh, need another one of those. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just put them into this. Pause, 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 pause. So let's go with um, cooked beef. Cooked beef. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can put two times four. If do a three, another three, that'd be a two. So we will do cooked beef, cooked beef. We will do cooked chicken, cooked chicken, uh, cooked fish, cooked fish. And then we'll just disable these two. Bum, 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 bum. You can either turn the ear off the inputs and outputs there, or you can literally go down here and there is a nothing item which means nothing will go into it so we can literally turn it off that way so you can turn them on and it's just nothing is stored here so that's that the output is uh disabled uh like that but so if you, if you don't want to have the uh that sort of thing the inactive ones um you can do that and that's just that's just a nothing filter so 
that is possible. You can filter it with something else, you know, never's going to end up here. You know, filter it with buckets of water or something as well, that sort of. But there is, there is a nothing filter at the end, so nothing will go in there. Hmm. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Cool, 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 cool. Right, let's copy uh, this guy and paste it here. Um, there was something else I should have really mentioned as well. Hello, what's happened here? Oh, yeah. Um... Uh, comments comments in the previous episodes and things um that i I've, i think i missed some of them um or um they were commented after i'd already made the next episode so i do apologize if you've, I, i'm not ignoring the comments at all um it just i like, get into this and i forget about things uh um i love this game this game just yeah um about turning off the fuel for the, the fuel here um that the um the train should never we wouldn't need to turn that off really because trains should never have the fuel there because they're only picking up packaged goods. Um, the problem is that if the train comes along, um, any train comes along, and there is something that it can pick up that equates the fuel, like if there was logs in here or coal, magma or fertilizer, magma or fertilizer will never be in there, but coal and um, uh, logs absolutely will then we have to disable the fuel because otherwise they'll pick them up as fuel, use them as their fuel rather than putting them into the system to be delivered around. Now that does mean I only actually have to technically untick this on the coal and the log um, trains. I don't need to untick it everywhere, but I kind of wanted to untick it sort of in general, which I should do over here. I do this, I have done it here. So when I copy it, just all of them are disabled. So. Just in case, just in case, you know, they decide, hey, um, that beef foot's good. Throw it in, throw it in the uh, the steam boiler. Yeah, that'd be great. Also, let's build the rails outside the wrong station. Yeah, that'd be great too. Uh, <laughs> oh. Right. Okay. So this, this is track number four. So this one's a track four pick up so that's this one here isn't it yep now we've got uh, one coming this way so we want to change this and do this as well because it might have an anti-clockwise as well so we want to come up to here this is track four so we want to come from this way in and then from that way in but i think that is correct yes that is correct okay okay copy that uh cop copy that thank you Boom. Put that there. Uh, so copy this and we're going to paste it there and paste it there. Um, this is going to be filtered with... Uh, I could filter it with cooked meats. Um, but I don't do that because it's got raw as well. It's not cooked meats, it's just meats. Uh, but what we're going to cook, we're going to go with um, cooked beef, whole shift, cooked chicken, and cooked fish. Okay. I don't think it needs a number. No, it doesn't need a number. Okay. Copy, paste, put on. There you go. So our, our train that wants to copy, wants to deliver... Any cooked meat, we'll come down here, we'll pick it up, and we'll come back again. Now this wants to have connections to every station, depending on the direction it's going. So let's see here. Pause the game a moment. Uh, actually, I don't need to pause the game. There's no train that's going to use that. So we are um, here, which is our delivery side. Okay. So we want to be the same as what the other one was as well. Um, which was uh, whatever this one was, which um, I never did. Um, so you want outputs to be clockwise. Um, one, two, eight, and five. One, two, three, four, five eight <laughs> i don't know where track eight actually is um and then and then you will come out and deliver there so yeah okay okay i'm gonna let this fill up a little bit we're gonna get some trains in and we will come back next episode and then we will set up a food delivery service for this town um, on this side here and then we'll find out whether this works or not oh let's see whether my extremely complicated train system works Tra train trains in real life are probably not this complicated actually they probably are because they they don't follow straight lines they go everywhere so who knows but, but anyway thank you very much for watching everybody i hope you have enjoyed this one and i do hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun